Aspiration is a word often associated with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ever since their dramatic move to the United States, the couple have tirelessly tried to infiltrate the A-list crowds of Los Angeles by any means necessary. But their desperation was further punctuated this week when Harry's brother and heir to the throne, Prince William, made a dignified trip to America without any of the fanfare or drama that follows his brother and sister-in-law. Sky News All-Stars Piers Morgan, Paul Murray and Rita Panahi compare the wildly divergent lives of Prince Harry and Prince William. Prince William jetted into New York City this week as part of a visit to discuss climate change. Unlike his brother, Prince William kept a low profile with the media, despite crowds angling to catch a glimpse of the famous royal. Prince William's New York jaunt was starkly different to that of his brother and sister-in-law's earlier in the year, where they created a stir and accused paparazzi of pursuing them in a near-death car chase which later was proven to be false, according to Sky News host Piers Morgan. Interesting how it's played out, isn't it, Sarah? Because when it first broke that story, you know, I was at home, I was like, oh, wow, this yeah. looks really serious. What's happened here? This is memories of Diana and everything else. There's been no footage, there's been no pictures, there's been nothing. This is New York City, Upper East Side at 10 o'clock at night mm. on a Friday or whenever it was, right? It would be rammed with people with cameras, nothing. There's no evidence that there was anything like a two-hour high-speed chase through Manhattan. It's not even possible. The traffic wouldn't allow it. And then they stick him in a cab, which goes round the block and then comes back. And so this goes on, all to protect them from revealing where they were staying. The Invictus Games was Prince Harry's chance to shine, advocating for a cause he is truly passionate about. And the praise for Harry was abundant. 